compassionate and forgiving. Passionate, brave and fearless are my three words I'd use to describe Julia because she is all three of those things. She's many more as well, but I think those three are what stand out to me. When I first got the role of Julia, I was obviously very happy um, because it's a big role and it's a big responsibility. And I, I just love like learning new things and developing new characters. But Julia, I was definitely not a big fan of because I had this idea of her that I think so many people have that she is just a very lovesick girl and she'll do anything for a boy. And as a girl in like the 20th century, I was just a bit like, mm, no, you don't have to do anything you want for a boy. Like you can think for yourself. Um, and I didn't like that. But then I found out so much about Julia and that she is strong and independent even at the start, like in scene six, when everyone kind of thinks that this whole like, oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore out thou do Romeo? Like, it's all about, oh, how much she loves Romeo and all of this. She's like weighing up her two options, which is to be in love with this boy and suffer the consequences of like her family, losing her family or doing as her family wants, which is getting with Paris in the long run um, and gaining power for her family. And she's like, the whole time she's like, should I do this? Should I not? Does he really love me? Does he really not? And she thinks everything through so much that like she doesn't jump into any decisions ever. Like, and she knows what she wants. Like, she's the one that suggests marriage. So she is so much stronger than what people think she is. And that's how my perception of Juliet has completely changed. So at first I knew Leonardo was a very important person, being the governor of Messina in Italy. I knew he was very well respected, but this was the thing which made me wonder how I was supposed to portray this, as it's quite a challenge. However, I think the most enjoyable part of this process was getting to create these relationships between him and other characters, which is something I was very excited to learn about from the start. There's so much more to him than just his serious governor side, which I've learned now. There's elements of him which is humorous, lighthearted, he's patient, and there's even a dark side which not many people would be expecting from him, which I found is quite exciting. I like to think of Leonardo as the glue of the play because he keeps the play together through his decisions and his justice, but he also affects the other characters' journeys and he's the reason what happens, happens. And I feel so privileged to have been trusted with this role. I think that everyone can relate to Juliet or Romeo. They're in love, not so much Romeo, but Juliet is in love for the first time. And I think everyone knows that feeling, whether they've seen it in books or movies or in songs or in anything, like, or felt it in real life, if they're lucky enough to. Um, I think that they know what that's like. And it, for me, it was finding, like, what is that, like, one thing that I would give up everything for? Um, and once I found that and discovered that, Rome, like dynamic and what Romeo meant to her um because Romeo didn't just mean love to her he meant freedom because she knew she could be with him and be herself whereas if she got with Paris she knew that for the rest of her life she would be a pawn in their game of power um and I think that's really strong and powerful and that finding that in Juliet yeah just helped me develop her me and Leonardo are very different people, but I can definitely relate to him on some levels. We are both goal-driven and we work towards a goal and do things specifically to help us get there. And I think that's what's helped me understand really why he's so patient and makes the decisions he's makes he makes. And I wanted to portray that to the audience. So that definitely helped me develop that side of him. Also, we both like being sociable and mixing around other people. Interestingly, we are both very busy people. Leonardo has a very demanding job 
and when we both work we're very focused and we come across serious but equally we both like to party. The most difficult part of creating Leonardo was the way he just instantly changes and snaps at Hero and the way I went about this was actually including the way I would react to an upsetting situation and put that into him as I feel like everyone needs their own character to have a bit of them in it and that's what I contributed to Leonardo from my own personal experience and I think this really helped me get that sudden shock and create his dark side which is quite surprising to some people which he has. When I develop a contemporary character, it is along the same lines. It's finding what I relate to in them. It's finding where they sit in my voice, finding where they sit in my body, um, how they would stand, how they would walk, what clothes would they wear. Like I like to work physically, like imagining them physically. Um, but the only difference, because it was the same with Juliet, the only difference was um, Juliet is Shakespearean and she speaks Shakespearean. So it was finding, especially because it's just a radio play, where in my voice Juliet sat, so she's like slightly higher up than what I speak, and she's like breathy in certain places and stronger in others, like finding that bit. But um, it's also making the Shakespearean language feel like normal, almost. Like how I'm speaking now is how my contemporary character would speak. They would speak like me. They might have an accent or whatever, but they speak English, but my Shakespearean character is it's like learning another language so it was like understanding the text so much and like making the language feel like it was my own um and like it was just coming to me in that moment that was what was difficult so it's the same in terms of developing the character but like the difference in the language so to create Leonardo, I read the play, I watched the play, I would then go through the script and shorten it down into smaller sections so I could put a lot of time into each scene. Uh, within this system, I then specifically looked at one scene, translated it all. If there was anything I didn't understand, I would Google it and research into it. I then also watched the Globe production of that specific scene to get a full understanding of what's going on and what he might be thinking and the proxemics as that really helped me. I then learnt the lines for that scene and then I'd move on to the next scene. Once I'd done all of that I would then work out my super objective and then my smaller objectives for each scene and then more importantly the intentions behind each line. This I felt helped me get a full understanding of the journey Leonardo goes on so I can portray that to the audience. Specifically for creating this Shakespeare character, I looked very much in detail into the setting and the era and why the play was written at first. And this helped me get an idea of what's going on around me during the time it's set. And that helped me gauge what Leonardo might be going through at the minute as well. I then watched people playing Leonardo on different clips on YouTube and also the Globe production of Much Ado About Nothing as that really helped me get an idea for the heightened style which is so specific and so important. Mm -hmm.